So we're going to play a little bit here in Gloamwood. Gloamwood Pines is one of the Guardian Zones. Uh, the Guardians are all about faith. Um, they have been resurrected by the gods to save Talara, and they're journeying through all of these zones to close the different uh, rifts and kind of return the ward back to the way it once was. So the meat of this demo is going to be all about the class system. In Rift, we give players a lot of different choices. Uh, you do choose from one of four archetypes, clerics, warriors, mages, or rogues, but those callings, as we call them, uh, do not kind of lock you to one character choice. If you're a mage, you're not stuck with just throwing fireballs, for example. So in this particular case, uh, we have a mage. Uh, it's using a variety of different what we call souls. Each soul is its own class, and as a mage, you can mix and match up to eight different ones. Uh, this particular soul is a Chloromancer, and we have a little bit of Stormcaller added in. Uh, what this does is it builds a very good group role. So as you can see, he's killing things a little bit slower as he plays through this area. Um, the Chloromancer is all about dealing damage and healing his allies. The uh, Stormcaller is a good AE slash debuff class, and the Dominator, which we mixed in, is all about controlling his uh, opponents. So once again, really good for group support. But say you're in this situation and you want to play solo. Well, we'll allow you to change your class and customize your character however you want. So we're going to pull up the Soul Tree. The Soul Tree is where you edit all of your classes. Um, we're going to switch to a new role, and we're going to build a class that's really good at soloing. So first I'm going to pick the Pyromancer out. Pyromancers are great burst damage. They're really great for soloing, really good in groups for doing high damage, and great class for PvP. So we're going to spend a few points here. The upper section of the tree uh, is where you spend your soul points. We call them the branches. You buy passive talents and uh, active abilities here uh, that affect your character's combat. As you increase your soul level, you'll unlock a number of new abilities as well. Um, so Pyromancers alone are a little boring, so we're going to mix a couple more mage souls in here. And let's grab a little bit of Warlock. And so we're going to put a couple points into Warlock as well. By taking Warlock, it gives me access to a couple life taps, some nice overtime effects. Once again, building a really good solo class. And we're going to round it out after we're done with a little bit of Elementalist. So the Elementalist is all about, you know, elemental powers and pets. So by building a, a loadout like this, I've got a really good offensive powerhouse with a pet that can help me out in a pinch, and it uh, turns into a very good solo class. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And now we have a new, uh, a new role, a new class. So we're going to grab a couple abilities real quick and get right back to combat. So one of the nice things about Rift's soul system is the fact that it does give you so much, so many options. A big part of the game is acquiring different souls. In a lot of MMOs, you'll spend over 100 hours getting to the end of the game, only realizing that you've got to re-roll your character and start over again. This really isn't true in Rift. While you can try a different archetype, because they have different game styles and different particular styles of play, um, you're not really fixed into that if you've picked one role or another. For example, like I said before, with this mage class, I can switch easily between a healer, a DPS class, or a support class, which means I can have different roles uh, loaded up with different souls for different situations. A big part of the game for us is acquiring these souls. So as the player kind of journeys through the game and finishes different heroic feats, they'll get access to new souls, choosing the ones they most like uh, in the order they want. So that's the soul system in a short. Uh, as I said before, hundreds of different choices. Each one of the callings has over 500 different combinations players can choose from. Uh, plenty of content for people to experience. A lot of different opportunities and chances for you to customize your game style based on the way you'd like to play.